Well, thank you, Thomas. So another round of snow means a higher risk of avalanches. And right now, several areas of the state are under avalanche warnings. ABC 4's Caleb Agerly spoke with avalanche experts about what you need to know before exploring Utah's backcountry. With more mountain snow expected throughout the week, avalanche forecasters say it's a good idea to take a step back and let the storm play out. This weekend saw a huge avalanche in Moab, and avalanche forecasters want to remind people to be safe as more snow is on the way. An avalanche warning was issued today for the Abajo Mountains just south of Moab and mountain regions in southwestern Utah, including the Tusher Mountains and areas near Cedar City. These are in effect from today through Thursday morning. It's going to get pummeled uh, tonight, and there have been avalanches happening down there already. So with more snow, strong south winds, they're going to continue to happen. Right now, several areas are showing considerable avalanche danger. And avalanche forecasters say you'll want to keep an eye on conditions before you go out. Mark Staples with the Utah Avalanche Center says that right now the snow is fairly dense and heavy. And more on the way can add weight to the snowpack, which means more stress on it too. That can lead to avalanches combined with strong south winds. They say if you're planning on recreating in the mountains soon, go forward with caution. You can still go out and have fun in the mountains, but you want to take a step back, choose more conservative terrain, more low angle terrain, and uh, save the, the really steep or more ambitious objectives for another day. If you are hitting the backcountry, he says to make sure that you have a partner with you, that you both carry avalanche gear like a beacon, probe, and shovel, and be prepared to use it if needed. They say they do expect to see elevated avalanche danger going into the weekend, and the best way to stay on top of it is to visit the UtahAvalancheCenter.org website. Reporting from Little Cottonwood Canyon, Kayla Baggerly, ABC4 News.